I'm going to walk you through citing an article from one of SCC's library databases according to Chicago author date citation style. This will go pretty fast because the point of this video is to give you a quick overview of the citation process. We start with the author, which we indicate like so, Bond, comma, David. Chicago requires authors' names to be flipped around to make it easier to put citations in alphabetical order. And then we close this bit with a period to indicate that this section of the citation is complete. In Chicago author date, the date comes after the author. Get it? Author date! Ha! <clears throat> author, then the four-digit year. Then another period. Now the article's title. Articles are small things that are contained in big things, like journals. Small things are indicated using quotation marks at the beginning and end of their titles. It's a code that says, hey, here's an article title. We close it with another period, but this one goes inside the quotes because it looks prettier that way. I also changed the first two words from all caps, GOVERNING DISASTER, into what's called title case, governing disaster. In a fight between the original document and Chicago citation style, Chicago always wins. The journal title comes next. This is the big thing that contains the article, and we have a code to indicate that too, italics. Big things like journals always have their titles in italics. No period after this one, though, because we're not done with it yet. Journals are periodicals. They have volumes and issues and page numbers. Gotta have all of that or the citation is incomplete. Volume comes first, so I look around for something that looks like a volume number. Here we go, at the bottom of the first page. Volume 28. I drop the VOL stuff because Chicago author date says so. After the volume comes a space, then the issue number, 4, in parentheses. I drop a colon after that and insert the page range. That means the starting page, a hyphen, and an end page. 694-715. And a period to show that this section's finished. And we're still not done. Next comes the DOI. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier. That's a unique string of numbers and letters that are assigned to many articles produced since the year 2000. DOIs are like social security numbers for articles. If your article comes with a DOI, then that's what you use to cap off your citation. Like this. In all lowercase letters, I type DOI, a colon, and then the number, followed by a period. But what do you do if your article's old or just doesn't have a DOI? Still gotta show where you found it with a stable URL. That stands for Uniform Resource Locator. It's the web address that leads to the document. But don't just copy the gibberish from your address bar into the citation and think it's right. It's not. Look for something labeled Stable URL and use that. You need a web address that'll stick around for a while. And just to warn you, it might be called something else, like Durable URL or maybe Permalink. We don't have one here, but if we did, it might look something like this. There we are. A complete citation. But we're still not done. If an article shows up in your list of references, that means you referred to it somewhere in your paper. So there has to be an in-text citation, and that requires its own special formatting. It's short and easy, though, thankfully. It starts with the author's last name, followed by the year of publication. Bond, 2013. Author date, once again. But you gotta be specific about what page you're referring to. Bond, 2013, 701. Chicago author date uses parenthetical citations, which means the citation info goes in between two parentheses, so the final in-text citation looks like this. It goes right before the next natural punctuation mark, like a comma or a period. So that's Chicago author date citation style. Before you go, let me make one last recommendation. Get a copy of the Chicago Manual of Style. It'll tell you how to cite anything and everything. We keep a copy behind the SCC Library's Information Desk, and if you'd like some guidance, our friendly librarians would be happy to help. Citation can be a bottleneck for a lot of students, but it doesn't have to be. Visit the library and let us show you how it's done.